How's it going, everybody? If you are anything like me, you are just itching to get out on the water. I've been isolated in my house a little bit. Um, got out a couple of times lately and had some really good fishing, but now is a great time to go through all your gear and make sure you're really ready to go when not only the big stripers arrive, but also the rest of fishing really kicks into the season. I spend most of my time in a kayak. As you can see, I've got a couple of kayaks on a trailer ready to go. Um, but one of the things I say every year, I've been saying it for the past, I don't know, four seasons, um, get yourself a legit phone case. Now, this unit here, yougoware.com, this is actually the old model, um, but this has saved my phone on numerous occasions. More importantly, I'm excited because I just received the new version. Go to yougoware.com to check it out for yourself. But this is the brand new version. I don't know if you could hear that, but as I cracked the zipper, the air actually escaped out. On the inside, it comes with a strap, the lubricant for the waterproof zipper. This is the same type of zipper that's on my level six Emperor dry suit. These waterproof zippers are no joke. This dry suit cost more than cheap little sit inside kayaks. And you get the same waterproof zipper on this thing. It's not just waterproof, it's airtight. If you open it up a little bit, make sure it's shut all the way. See if you can see this. If I give it a squeeze, it's actually bulging out because it's airtight. Zipper here is all the way tight. If I squeeze on it, you can actually see some of the bulging, and that's because it's airtight. Now if I squeeze, let the air out, you should actually be able to hear that. On the inside, you've got plenty of space here. Absolutely generous room for your phone, and mine's a big phone. On the inside there, we have a couple of slots for your ID or your fishing licenses. And we've got a little zipper pouch in here too. Personally, with my older model, I keep all my fishing licenses in here, I keep my car keys, and then my cell phone goes in it. I zip it up, make sure it's tight, and this is one of the most important things that I take with me on every kayak trip. I use this in my kayak religiously. I use it almost every time I go out on a friend's boat. And I use this if I'm fishing from shore as well. If I'm surf casting, this is absolutely going with me because there's a decent chance I go in the water. When I'm out on the water, this is always with me. And my phone, which this is a fairly large smartphone. It's not, you know, a note or whatever those giant things are, but this is a large smartphone. I've got a battery on the back and I've got a case on it as well. This fits in there comfortably, and I can still use my phone. So I'm gonna zip it up. I'm gonna delete that email. I can open up Facebook, I can open up Instagram, I can open up the camera, I can flip the camera around. Now you can see yourself. Um, I've made phone calls, text messages, all of the above with this thing. It's fantastic. And this floats. Not only does it have buoyancy on its own, it's an airtight case. This is gonna save your phone. It's saved, I'm not kidding, it has saved my phone seven or eight times at least. Um, I only had the thing a couple of weeks when we went down to Florida for sailfish and I rolled my kayak. So I don't care what kind of a case 
you actually put on your phone, there is not a case I know of that fits your phone from the cell phone store. Your phone is going to sink, even if it's waterproof, with lifeproof cases, with otter boxes. I used to own a lifeproof case. Those aren't impervious. This thing, this is bulletproof. So do yourself a favor, check out the Yugo Wear. I'm excited to see the new model and uh, we'll put them to good use. Take care guys.